The sailing GPS is very easy to see outside. It has a sturdy case without a glass screen and it makes it really easy to get your optimal tacking angles. You use the three buttons across the top of the keypad for the directions of the wind and of your destination and then you press optimal route. With those three buttons alone you can get this amazing result where it will show you your optimal tacking angles. If you add other information like the distance to the destination you can get further information on the amount of time on each tack and the distance on each tack as well. Standard GPS chart plotters don't account for sailboat tacking and therefore don't know how far you're going to travel which means that they can't calculate the ETA very accurately. The sailing GPS solves this problem. So let's take a look at the operations in more detail and also check out the three menus. You can enter the wind direction manually with the wind from button on the keypad and you use the thumb wheel at the bottom right of the keypad to select the direction and then press wind from again. You can enter the bearing again uh, choosing the direction with the thumb wheel here moving around to the direction you want to move around the circle then press bearing again to enter that then the optimal route will be calculated and you can see your optimal tacking angles just from these two bits of information the direction of the wind and your bearing or destination if you want to add more information like the rum line distance to the destination the straight line you can enter that Press optimal route to update and you can see the distance and the tacking time to destination have now been added as well. First of all your directions uh, for each tack, then the distance on each tack and then the TTD or tacking time to destination on each tack also. Now if we go into the menu with the menu button, uh, the first choice is the compass screen uh, which gives you a visual display showing the speed and heading as well as wind direction, wind speed and wind angle. And we're not moving right now but if we were moving you'd see a display around this circle also showing the direction of north, the boat's heading and also the direction of the first tack. Then if we press the menu button and look at the first menu screen you can see it's one of three shown in the bottom right corner of the display. We've got a number of choices here for seeing a large speed, viewing the waypoints, closing or opening the Bluetooth and you can select the next menu uh, by going uh, either right or left on the thumb wheel. So I pressed uh, to the right and we've got the second menu screen and now the third and back to the second again so back and forth uh, through the menus using the left and right arrows. Uh, you can go up and down the menus as well. Uh, there's some uh, choices here related to the wind vane uh, so wind vane status shows the battery levels. ETA motoring if you're going straight to your destination. The backlight toggle can be turned on and off in the menus. And then if we go to the third menu screen, latitude and longitude, if you need that, is the first choice. The second choice is degrees or letters for the direction, if you want it in numbers or letters, which are a little easier. And the bottom three choices all have to do with polar learning, which is described in more detail in the owner's manual. Finally, here's a little trick. If you'd like to reverse the order of TAC 1 and TAC 2, just press the W and E and you'll see that you can flip them back and forth. This works on the compass screen also.